It's the weekly breakdown. Hi. Hey. Tyler. The captain. The captain. MG Key. MG Key. The sledge. Yeah. And. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I know exactly where your brain was going, and then you didn't feel like. <laughs> I, actually, I actually don't really know where my brain was going. The prawn star. Yeah. Absolutely. The prawn star. I, you know, funny you mention that. I've been recently getting spam f- uh, friend requests from uh, people trying to get me to these sex sites. Mm. I've been getting a lot of the same thing from people. Mm. Like, hey, I'm, you know, <coughs> I'm single and want to talk. And I'm like, I'm not. I'm not dealing with any of this. <laughs> Find my pictures I'm here. I want to talk. <laughs> it's, Lou, it's Louis. Cringy things like that. I'm like, no, I'm not. No. It's a great I, way to pick up, pick up relationships. Pick up dudes. <laughs> so if you're yeah. in a relationship, are you double? If you're not single, you're double. No, I mean, fuck I, off. I mean, I guess technically, yes. Fuck off. <laughs> it took me a second to realize what you're saying. That's really good. I can't believe I've never heard that before. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk <clears throat> some good video game stuff. Uh, Red Dead <coughs> is out. We've played some of it. Uh, we're going to talk about all the new Smash news, and BlizzCon news. There's some interesting rumors about Disney's streaming service. And, yeah. Lots of fun stuff to talk about. Yeah, cool stuffs. I like cool stuffs. Yeah. <coughs> also, <coughs> we are five subscribers from 2200, I think. Woo! So spread the word. Get 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 it out there. We need five more. Then we're at twenty two hundred, and then we keep yeah. going. And then we just and then you just keep. Going. <laughs> yeah, don't stop it. If you see it's already at twenty two hundred, don't just, stop. Just keep there. going. Just yeah. keep keep going. And we don't stop. And we won't stop. And we can't stop. You're, you're making that that five number bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know it's fine. It's Red fine. Dead <laughs> Redemption Two. It's out, finally. It's a video game. Three of us have played it. You own it. I haven't yeah, played it. I haven't played it. Uh, let's just talk about the game. How do we feel about it? Generally. I didn't like it. <laughs> you know. Yes. I don't. said it. The <coughs> gamer yeah. has not played game. <laughs> in, in I this, don't like it. In, in case you're living under a, a rock and haven't heard, this is the new cowboy game from Rockstar. You get to be a bad cowboy. You can be a good Don't cowboy. disparage people that live under rocks. <laughs> Sorry. It's Legend of Zelda, except with more guns and slightly more racism. There are guns in Zelda? I said there's more guns. It's like Legend of Zelda, except Are there more any guns? guns? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah I mean, but the presence of guns means there's more guns. There's more. There, there, there is... There is, oh. there is well, there has to be some guns more, gun. more guns. No. You could no. say zero, there, zero there zero are guns. Number. There's zero you could say guns. say there are guns. One gun is more than zero guns. Yeah, but zero guns are no guns. Some guns are guns. Look. Just because you lost this argument doesn't mean you have to keep going. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. shut, shut that shit down. <laughs> Jesus. Oof. I'm sorry, Sam. That was a little harsh no, on my part. No, no. It's fine. <laughs> it's I'm not going to hold on to that at all. It's not going to come up later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're playing. No, we're playing Jackbox <clears throat> later. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I got us a uh, Jackbox Party Pack 5. We're going to be playing that later tonight. Oof. Maybe we'll get some few rounds of uh, Soul Calibur, which we actually played us three also too. But we're talking about Red Dead now. Yeah, 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 the other game. Yeah, the other video game that he hasn't played. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I'm generally positive on it so far. There's a lot of <clears throat> stuff to do that I think is entertaining. There, it's fun. There's but there's a lot of annoying things that I don't like about the game too. Like there. So the pros and cons of video games, man. It's 2018. People are trying new stuff with open worlds, and I think Red Dead is falling a little bit on the side of I don't know being deliberate and slow, which is by all accounts probably <coughs> on purpose. <coughs> yeah. But it's not it's not the style of game that I'm necessarily looking for. But other people, I know you're enjoying the pacing of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I I like the pacing of this game even with it being slower just because I enjoy the characters and I'm really enjoying the story and I enjoy existing in this world I think it's a it's a fascinating world I mean just some of the things that that can just kind of randomly happen like I was just walking into a building earlier and I accidentally just brushed into a guy and I didn't even mean it I was just walking by and brushed into him he's like hey and then he starts fighting me he just starts 
beating the shit out of me. And then the guy I was with ended up running by, up behind him, just grabbing him, putting him in the chokehold, and no fight anymore. I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then we, I was just riding my horse, and randomly there's this guy that's, like, yelling at me. And then I just was like, okay, dude. And I lasso him and then him <laughs> behind me, because why not? Uh, like, like just stuff like that is, is kind of fun. Like, I just like being in this world. and uh, But it is slow. And, I, like, even, like, character movement's slow. <clears throat> Uh, especially coming off of playing like very snappy games like Spider-Man or Assassin's Creed, like it's oh. just it's it is slow and it feels a little old. It feels very Rockstar <coughs> in how it moves. And combat sometimes like cover getting in and out of cover isn't the greatest. That that stuff kind of feels meh. It has very much like Rockstar aiming system where it automatically locks on to dudes, which for better and for worse sometimes with that i mean it's not it's not perfect but it is like the scope and the details in this game just are mind-boggling at times like i i just find it so crazy of like i could be at my camp after a mission and sit down at the campfire and talk with a bunch of the people at the camp and then you can do that same mission things might go Slightly different, but still end up in the same spot. And you might not sit at the camp. And I just got all this dialogue that you might not ever get. And it's just like all of this stuff there. And it's like totally missable that they put a ton of effort into. Just to make it try to feel like like very organic as you're playing. It's just crazy. I mean, it really is crazy. I can see why this game took so long to make. You really can tell. When playing, yeah, <clears throat> I'm I'm still I haven't had too much time to play it. I've been kind of busy with schoolwork and other things happening, so I'm still in like the prologue. So I'm still super super early in the game. <coughs> but I mean, from the from a little bit that I've kind of established, I mean, I can kind of I won't say too much because I agree with a lot of <coughs> some of the more stuff that you experience early in the game, like with, with with Tyler said, whereas it's you know the combat and the, the shooting is very very rock star and. I'm not the biggest fan of their style of doing it, but I mean it's but it's different. You know, every other shooter game plays basically exactly the same. You know, but this one's a bit different. I mean, or a lot of them do. You know, or a lot of the first yeah, person shooters. But, yeah. And then <coughs> the, the only thing, which is which is not even a complaint, it's just one thing that I notice is that like more often than not, I find myself just like cinematic camera hold x go follow the trail just you know no you don't even have to like that's a, i made the same mistake you don't even have to hold x the entire time you just need to hold it, it to activate hold it, it hold it to start activating it and then you can like, <laughs> let it go so literally what i do is i get in that and then i put the controller down go over to my computer and do something while stuff is happening then, over yeah. there the, the, the only thing that i noticed which is i'm not sure which is again i'm still super early so i don't know is like i assume when you're in cinematic mode because you it can't, follows you the, can't well, well you can't lock on for like if there's optional dialogue conversations that can kind of mm. pop up, I don't think you can do those when uh, you're in that mode. And that's like the only thing because I notice and I'm like, because after a while, like I do that and I'm just kind of going along and I'm like looking on my phone, but I'm like, oh wait, there might be something cool happening, so I'll get out and I'll lock onto the dude, and it's like, oh nope, he he's not saying nothing. All right, back to, so I I, I like it because I mean ho- controlling a horse in just about <laughs> every game is janky to an extent, and so. Having that option is kind of nice, which is a lot of games, like even Assassin's Creed Origins had that option. But like, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. They kind of almost takes it away that you can do, that you can just do that, like you said. You can just boom, and then all right, cool, I'm done. Don't have to. Well, let me done. go. go let do me something go pet else. my uh, pet my kittens while the horse is <laughs> taking me where I need to go. Like, I mean, that's cool and that's great, but like, I, I almost just it's, it's one of those things in gaming that's that you know they still have. <clears throat> That developers still ain't, ain't gotten right yet, like how glass, mm-hmm. like how water looks when you're drinking it in a glass, like that doesn't look right, in like any video game ever, and like a lot of things like that. So, you know, but I mean, that's I mean, I, I'm seriously only like maybe two hours in, so I'm not that far. I mean, I'm liking what I see. I mean, you with the I'm liking the characters and the dynamics so far. So, yeah. Hopefully after next weekend, because. The, the this play we're doing is going on until next week, and I'll I can finally be able to put time into playing it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely some problems I have with some of the writing in the game, uh, mostly race related stuff. 
Uh, but then again, I never really trusted the Housers to write anything that is good on that front <coughs> because they've fallen into traps for a lot of their games, especially their Grand Theft Auto games, a lot of stereotypes. They, they like to lean on that kind of stuff a lot. So, yeah. I don't know. It's... It's a thing. It's a complaint I have about all Rockstar games is that sometimes the writing is super miss on certain subjects. And mm-hmm. what you gonna do, other than point it out? Hey, I still don't like this. Yeah, it, but then there's there's some writing that yeah. I, I was really into. Like I just did a mission where uh, I guess you talk to. Uh, a past love life of Arthur's. Yes. And I'm like, this is really well done. The, that that entire mission's writing was just fucking superb to me. Um, and you can actually choose to do that mission or not in a way, because yeah. uh, there there is a point You'd where be if like, you said no, you. you're just you're just yeah. my ex that's trying to use me. Yeah. Like if you said no, like you're just not doing the rest of that mission. But I chose to do do it, and I thought it was really well done. There's certain things that are like kind of weird like i died and i guess i lost my hat and i have no clue where the fuck my hat is and i'm like i kind of want my hat because if you're, 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 you're on up. your horse you can just go over just pull it out is that what you have to do <clears throat> yeah see i you didn't go, know that so pull see, up. there's so much little yeah, shit like yeah, that yeah the, the ui sucks tell you. That, that's another thing yeah. the ui sucks <laughs> and i there's no other word for it it's just bad. it's just it's just a lot honestly it's it's it's, it's a lot and you kind of like I feel it would be hard to play this game if if you're serious about seeing it through. It would be hard to play this game for a few hours a week and not come back to it for two, three, four more weeks or whatever. Just because you're going to fucking forget everything. I'm yeah. like, there's so many controls, so many systems, all this shit that they got all working together somehow. And it's like, like I've... I, I might play for two, three, four hours one day and not be able to play for two, three more, more days or whatever. And even I come back to it, I'm like, oh, how, 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 how do you do stuff? How, how do you dead work? eye? Yeah. What, do I, what am I doing sometimes? I mean, it's just, it's a gargantuan game, I will say. But there's some, there's some really fun, cool stuff. Like, I went on a, there's a mission that basically teaches you, like, the legendary hunting that you can do. And you have to fight a bear, and I got fucking Leonardo DiCaprio into Revenant. <laughs> like, this bear was literally on top of me, biting me, all sorts of shit, and I pull my pistol out, I'm like, bam! And then I pull my fucking rifle out three times quick, right in the head, he's done. And then I have to skin him, and the skinning animation is really kind of disgusting yeah, in this game. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It I is... think there's an option that you can go into make that quicker. I might have to do that, <laughs> just because it's, it's not that it's like... Oh, I can't watch this anymore. It is kind of gross, but it's, it's also long. like it's long and kind of uncomfortable. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like like stuff like that. I'm like, this this is neat. Um, it's it's cool. And and it, like, I played the first Red Dead Redemption and loved it. And that story is really f- fucking fantastic. In this story, like, you see a lot of the characters from Red Dead Redemption 1, and in Red Dead Redemption 1, they're all scattered, they're not together anymore, but here they are together, and I, I'm just eager to see how they all fall apart, because Red Dead Redemption starts when they all fucking fall apart, you know? So I, I think there's some interesting things that'll probably happen there. How far are you up to? Um, so... <coughs> Right now, my camp is over in Lemoyne County. Mm. Lemoyne, close to champ. champ. Damn it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <coughs> exactly. Yeah, <coughs> the, yeah. It's it's weird the scale of this map and how they try to portray different areas. Like the area <coughs> Lemoyne, they try to portray as southern, which mm. is weird considering where it's placed on the map in relation to other areas. Is there a lot of breakdowns in it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it is there like, <coughs> like located like underneath a bridge? Like, you know. Yeah, it's a KFC up the road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> no. Yeah. I don't think everyone understands the reference to <laughs> no one understands. But you know, no one understands. But you know what? Shitty venue right outside of Harrisburg. <laughs> but you know what we do, and you know what that venue doesn't exist anymore. Have some respect. They're bringing it back. Yeah. They're bringing it back. Oh, the damn city, it. the city wants to bring it back. Okay. Why? Well, I, I know, right? <laughs> and and actually, they they mm. are using. I think it's like the Harrisburg Community Center or something like right so, now. Yeah. With <clears throat> just ah. Fuck. <laughs> All I know at that place is fucking shady shit. Your camp is yeah, in the line. There's a lot of crazy shit that happens there. Uh, uh, but yeah, but, uh, I'm I'm doing that stuff. There are a lot of jobs. <laughs> I made a shit ton of money, and I've already bought all the shit in the camp. Like I've upgraded oh, really? everything. Wow. Yeah, I. I and I'm, I mean, there's stuff I need to still craft. Those mm-hmm. crafting upgrades, but as far as stuff that you buy, everything's fully upgraded. Unless there's more stuff <clears> after that you unlock. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it. I, I got to the point where I unlocked a lot of that stuff, and I've unlocked a few of them now. Got chicken coop. Mm. Yeah. You got what? Make... Chicken coop. Uh, make some good stew. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure Pearson appreciates that. Yeah, exactly. But with some of the crafting stuff, like, oh my god, do you need, like, a lot Too of... much. It's too There's much. There's so much hunting you would have to do to craft, like, a lot of the really good stuff that it's like, eh, I'm not even... And there's more bother. hunting you have to do for side quests and stuff. Yeah, like, there's this one... Crazy. One uh, thing that I just wrapped up today where... I mean, it's a quest you get early on, but I finally got around to it. But you have to mail in a perfect squirrel and a perfect rabbit. Mm. You have to mail it to someone, to a taxidermist. <laughs> I feel like <coughs> mailing that back in 1899 would be kind of weird. Also, uh, mailing also, it would be also it would be probably be rotted by the time it got I, there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as much as this game wants to tout realism, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's really funny. Yeah, there's uh, one of my favorite I killed missions. A deer. I killed two of them actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite missions early on in the game. And this is pretty early. I mean, it's going to be I won't, favorite. And, and it's actually a side on. mission. Well, I'm not going to talk okay. about that one. Because that's a main mission. This one was a side mission. And I, I guess, I don't know if it could play out differently or not, depending on what you want. But I had to go find this guy. And I had to ask him questions for a book. And this guy was like, well, I'm not talking until you uh, help me clean up my pig shit. Have you done this, man? No. Is this the gunslinger thing? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done that yet. Oh, okay. Well, well, he's like, you got to clean up my pig shit, and I'm talking. And he's talking and all this stuff. And I, it could play out differently. I ended up, he had a gigantic pile of pig shit. Basically, he was taking the pig shit from the pen and putting it over here. And Arthur's just like all pissed off. And he goes and finds fucking dynamite. And he puts the dynamite in the pig shit and explodes it. And just fucking pig shit all over this guy's property. All over his face. And then you have to get into a, like a, a duel. Like sort of gunslinger sort of thing. I'm like this is fantastic. I love this right now. Like stuff like that is just genuinely kind of funny. I like that. It's a cool game. It is. I don't think they could change... But I don't think it's my favorite game of the year for sure. Yeah, there there are other games that I'm I'm thinking. <clears throat> I there's there's still a lot to think about. Like I have games that I have to finish before I can stack it all up. But yeah. <laughs> but then again, like I I enjoyed GTA Five, but that was that's kind of the only Rockstar. Well, G, Red Dead Redemption is really good, but besides those two, like I've never really been over the moon in my Rockstar games. Something about how they play. I think it's just like like they're fun. Never, they like... never have nailed how they control to me. That's just just my thing. Like like some of those old GTA games, like as cool as Vice City and San Andreas were back in the day, it's like, oh my goodness, they controlled <clears throat> like ball sack. <laughs> this game does have like the the eating stuff. Like if you eat too much, you will get fat. In the game, and it, that that's like from GTA San Andreas. Like yeah, you could get yeah. really fat in oh. that game, <coughs> and, and that that can happen here get too. Fat and hairy. To yeah. Oh you yeah. Can use I'm, that hair tonic to make your uh, yeah. hair grow faster. I'm all about that, dude. I, I, the beard stuff. I, I find it, it it's realistic, but you can only uh, yeah, you cut. can only trim down. But it grows over time, and and so I had a massive fucking beard. You have a big beard in the beginning of the game. And I decided to cut it down so I have some scruff. But I'm going. To, I'm just going to let it grow. The rest of the game. Just become just, a, it's just like. become a mountain man. <clears throat> just a big grizzly man. 
I'm gonna eat a lot of food and be a big hairy man. That's uh, what? since you have revealed this to me. This what I, what I find <laughs> fucking crazy is that they with certain things they are very realistic and and for better and for worse. It depends how you feel about it. But like if you want to buy stuff from a store, you're literally walking into that store and walking up to every fucking shelf and inspecting them and p- literally picking out what you want like yeah, you're in a store certainly. you can do it that way you can you, well you can also you go can up also to browse book. the catalog yeah, yeah. You, you can do that too but but if you want to do it that way you can i'm like wow this is pretty crazy <laughs> i mean it's i mean that, that, that's yeah. nuts that there's yeah. that much like but it's like yeah it's yeah like i i went up on my you, right? you made whiskey. someone work overtime to make this i mean that's an unnecessary thing that hey maybe Maybe we don't need something like this. Maybe, maybe that there, that's some work hours, there, which is just yeah, it's crazy. I see. I, honestly, I don't, I don't see the benefit of doing it something that way because that's that's not an intuitive way for someone playing a video game to actually yeah, go I, through I agree and do. With that. Yeah, like it's it's cool. It, like paper. it would be cool like to super... see the stuff on the shelf, but you don't necessarily that that shouldn't be the way you. Actually, go it's one of those things that's like on paper. It's like <coughs> that sounds awesome because that's hyper. But then it's like it's, but in practice, no. no that's that's something that someone high up is like, yeah, we're gonna do this because I think it's a cool idea. And then everyone underneath him is like, or for bragging no. rights, it's something for bragging rights. So look, like look what we we can do. You can pick individual <coughs> items off a shelf. And it's like, yeah, but why? And it goes. Yeah, could you save you some it? of that a uh, hundred gig space? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Installing this game, is <laughs> mine, could, maybe okay. it could fit. I, I was super lucky. Mine did not take that long. Really? I went, I went, and I, I downloaded it, and then I left to go do something. I think we went out to eat, or what did I do? I did something on Monday, and I came back, and it was done. Mm. Like th- three hours later, I'm like, awesome. Mine didn't <clears> take that long, but I had to restart it. Oof! Did Actually, you get it digitally, or I got a physical? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah me bought, too. Bought the disc. Yeah. <laughs> Did you I got it digitally. How yeah. long did it take for you to download? Well, so here's the thing: <laughs> oh, my yeah. internet down where I live is terrible. <clears throat> so uh, I got it about like halfway done in like one and a half, two days. It was about halfway done, <laughs> and then I brought it here, and he had, and he has better oh, internet. Than finished it up while yeah. I was here. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I just I have never thought that in 2018 <clears throat> this console generation we would ever see a two disc. Game I know that's like it's nuts. I mean, it's, it's fucking crazy. And then, and then on one hand, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting here, and I'm like, again, with all the stuff that we're talking about, all this sort of like super <coughs> if, technical fidelity and whatnot. I'm like, did it? Does it need to be? <laughs> Certain things definitely don't don't need to be there. I think. It's like, just, I mean, like again, the, the, it yeah, the idea of you... realistic horse testicles In... sounds sounds cool. On yeah, paper, but also but... not realistic because you would normally geld your horses. And yeah, so yeah, the kind of thing about that is like, I don't know. I, I just wonder. I forgot who said it, but just basically, just to kind of say, like, yeah, we did it. Like, just to kind of the bragging rights. Okay, yeah, in a way, but like, sort of like, oh, this is this next game is bigger, but we have a lot of stuff in it. Like, how Check much of it is like ball. major stuff? Oh, we have some major stuff, but a lot of small stuff. Just to like, I don't know, say like. Make it like I don't know. Yeah, and but it's the, a feature. Just they, but like, just to but, like, yeah, but, yeah, but then also, I mean, on, on the flip side, the small stuff can be cool. I mean, like your story about just brushing into a dude and getting into a fight. I mean, just yeah, you can't it, do that. It depends on most what it games. Is. Yeah, you know, most it, and and that's the thing. Like <coughs> this world is so big, and this is a game that's not meant to be rushed through. And in my opinion, and uh, like it just depends how you interact with the game. Like that's there. And and maybe you're gonna interact with the fucking horse balls, but I'm not. So I'm gonna say oh, yeah, here yeah. and go. That's dumb that they did that. It's no reason. But, you but you're on? like fuck yeah, I sucked those big yeah, horse can you balls. Suck on them? No, no. <laughs> no. There's literally no reason. For is there it to nudity be there other is, than to look at? Yes. Is there nudity in the game? Yes. Okay. Good. There's a mission. Are they in horse There's a nudity? main story mission. Like after you get out of chapter one, you finally get to the first place with the <clears> camp. I don't know. Maybe about five, six missions into that, there's one that is so fucking funny. It's it's probably the funniest Rockstar mission I've ever done. And <clears> there's there's some some hot nudity. Yeah, in but that you one. have to look for it. Yeah, too. you have uh, to you have to stumble upon it. Okay. Basically, you're gonna be in a bar. And it's going yeah. to be upstairs in a corner. Oh, of course. Yeah, there's going, to be a, there's going to be a room. You're going to <clears> be a process. Is it like a, the order process. where you open up and you see some dude's dick or something? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Right. It's because I've been climbing all over. Dick it's good. In it's, it's really good. <laughs> there's a, there's, there's, a big lot of, there's a lot of big dick. There's yeah. a lot of big dunks in Assassin's a lot Creed. Of big statue dick. You're re, you're like 37 hours into Assassin's yeah. Creed. What, yeah. what do you think? So far, it's my front runner for game of the year. Whoa! I, I really enjoy it. Whoa! it. It's not everyone's game, but it really appeals to me in a lot of ways. I think there are issues like to kind of divide it up. I think the game has some issues, and other things are more like existential crises like things that are in progress where I'm not sure where they're going to take it or whatever but I wouldn't exactly call them an issue because like there are things that I wasn't crazy about in Origins but I knew it was like a stepping stone like they're building something so I'm kind of considering it that way like they're moving in the right direction but there are a couple issues like bugs and stuff like that and uh, ragdolling being weird and uh, earlier this week I was playing a little bit and I was at this leader's house or whatever and I assassinated him. As I was leaving, I saw a mercenary go past <clears throat> and had a bounty on my head at the time. So I like pressed the right stick to like lock onto him and the game just like, I thought it like froze. But my, and my character, like I, I didn't know what happened. So I tried to like move and my character model like disappeared and it was moving at like maybe one, one frame per 10 seconds. It was really oh, weird. Shit. So I pulled up the map and I fast traveled to a, like a sync point or a viewpoint or whatever. And I like, it loaded and I like, the game loaded in and Cassandra was on fire for some reason. It was weird. <laughs> you, tri- like, I you, think tra- I fell you traveled through. so fast. <clears throat> yeah, I think I fell, yeah. through the, <laughs> fell through the map or something. I, I don't know. Went through, but the, yeah, went through the planet's core. Went down to Hades, it. yeah. Yep. Is so this it, story? Is this story still good? Thirty-seven hours into it, it's like because I'm eight hours into it and I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so far. it there will so, be parts where it you know it it's a bit of a roller coaster. Like I just got to a good part where I'm in the islands now, in the islands that uh, <laughs> man. man that um are I just got to another point in the story where I'm like I'm back into it now. Like not like I left, but I was doing a lot of like side quest stuff and ex- exploring and stuff like that, just kind of enjoying where I was at. And I was like, "All right, now on to the next part." And it's like, I've sort of been attacking the game. Like, okay, I get into this area. I'm pretty much kind of doing everything or everything that I want to do. And I'll start to get a little like bored of it, I guess. I'm like, "All right, on to the next area." And then it'll start to like pick back up again. And I kind of like that there, where I get to do as much as I want, and then it's like, "All right, I'm going to move on." And then when I get to the next part, it's like it just picks right back up again mm-hmm. and there's like stuff going on I, I enjoy that sort of pacing but uh, yeah I, I just got to a part where the story is pretty interesting it sort of answers some questions but <clears throat> sweet yeah what level are you at? <clears throat> 28 what? I think 27, 28 That's something 28. like that nice yeah which is kind of weird that it's less less than one level per hour because I've, I've played it for like 37 hours. I'm only like level 27 to 28. It's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> With most games, I feel like you get levels a little you just like every, quicker of a pace. Yeah. Yeah. You, I'm just curious, you bounced off of Origins, right? Yeah. So what about, and I, I like, I'm enjoying <coughs> Odyssey. I think it is in ways better, but it is in ways extremely similar to Origins. Yeah. So what about Odyssey makes you go, fuck yeah, and you're diving into this game well I, there is one big thing but like this a couple of the small things is i like instead of building up your adrenaline meter and you get like one big attack that you have like different abilities mm-hmm. like the spartan kick yeah that is and nice. like the different like bow attacks and assassin assassination attacks that you can have i like that that keeps it fun like keeps the combat it's a bit more dynamic mm. i still 37 hours into the game enjoy kicking people off boats mm. and watching them drown as they laugh <laughs> and the sharks show up. <clears throat> like I enjoy that. I enjoy sinister. <laughs> Jesus, and I laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just standing. I mean, there I'd, I'd be lying if I said I didn't hog tie someone in Red Dead and drop them <laughs> in the river. Yeah, you wow, that that's stuff. pretty brutal. I yeah. I did that. And I just drug them behind me with that little guy. Yeah, well, I, that's brutal. I witnessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking psychos. Yeah. Um, but I think the big thing to me is really, and it's going to sound weird because I've kind of criticized Assassin's Creed for paying a little too much attention to the setting where it felt like before Origins, 
like Origins like new era Assassin's Creed, but old era Assassin's Creed. It's like okay, let's do this interesting setting, and I feel like like the French Revolution was really cool, but it just it felt like oh, let's do the setting, and then like it didn't, it wasn't as interesting as it could have been. Like I felt like they're more focused on where can we do this game, like wh- how how can we do it, but. I really, really like Ancient Greece. I really like the way they've done Ancient Greece. There's so much yeah. detail. There, uh, like, when I get lost in the game, it's gonna sound like an E3 thing, like exploring the world sort of thing. But I actually, I, I legitimately like it. Like when I first got to Athens, I checked out the Pantheon. I was like, oh, the Temple of Athena is here. So I went and I checked that out, and I was like, this is actually cool stuff. When you're like going to like Delphi and you meet the Oracle. Um, <clears throat> Like, a lot of different things, like the different people that you can meet. Um, they're they're mostly all the people that you meet, like historical people, are pretty. I don't know. They're kind of the same in a way. Um, they'll have like similar personalities in ways, but um, yeah, the different places you can go. I just really like the world. I like having ship combat back in the game, but yeah, mostly just the just Greece is interesting to me. And I, I'm, I'm really enjoying that mm. part of it. Like, the world is a lot more interesting, so I don't feel... It's different if I'm, like, sailing to this cool island and or island that I think is cool that, like, appeals to me and I get off, I'm doing stuff, and I'm, like, checking out all this random stuff, like, random ruins that I find. It's That's different to me than what feels to me like just riding around in the desert for hours. Yeah. Which I was like, it kind of got a little... Like, it just wasn't my mm-hmm. thing, I guess. Yeah. The setting is a lot better. <clears> yeah. Game. I like it. A lot more, like, color and variety and... Mm-hmm. My, my, my favorite thing <clears throat> that's happened to me in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is... I don't really know what happened. I was doing a mission uh, where I had to take out some leader. It's like, you get... You get... I forget which, which area it is, but you get the ship... And you go to an area to find the wolf. Yeah. And yeah. you have to take out the leader yeah, and all that stuff. Yeah. So I'm doing this mission, and the leader, they're like, oh, he's over here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I go up to him, and I'm like, I guess that's him. He's just sitting on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I go I up to him, to me. and he's got guards around him, and I just murder the shit out of this <laughs> yeah. guy. He doesn't even do anything. And yeah. then the guards are like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and they start fighting me. Yeah. And, and I kill them too. And now I'm up. Now I'm wanted. Three things wanted. So now all these mercenaries are hunting me down. Yeah. One of them comes running out. I'm like, I got this motherfucker. Yeah. Take take this one out. I was like, bam, bam, throw him to the side, done. Then another one shows up, big guy. I'm like, fuck. And then another one shows up. I'm like, shit. But I got this. I'm I'm doing this slow little dance with him. I'm just a little bit here, a little bit there. Yeah. But then they ended up getting me. Yeah. Uh, which sucked, but like how intense that felt yeah. of like being wanted. Now just all these big dudes chasing you down because the the mercenaries thing is very like a nemesis light system yeah. from Shadow of yeah. Mordor. Uh, not not to a degree of like you kill them and then they'll come back and they remember you and all that stuff. Yeah, but, but it's got this tear to it, and, <clears> and like that that was cool. And then I just respawned, but the quest was done. But I lost all the gear and progress that I had, so I'm like. Okay, this is yeah. bizarre. And yeah. and I had to kill those mercenaries again. And I ended up killing most of them again. Yeah. But like it just I don't know. That, Wait, that felt very intense. So like a so. that sounds from from what that it sounds like there's like an old school notoriety system. Yes. Oh, that's oh. Yes. Did you get to the part Oh, that's great. Where I I don't have you played it since we like talked about it last? Like a week ago, in the past week, or anything like that. No, uh, no, I, I or maybe yeah, more. No, no. Um, it's probably been two weeks since no. I played it. There's another thing like mercenaries. That's like a nemesis system. That's okay. like a separate thing that they introduced. That that's pretty cool. There's already so but, much game. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Another between uh, yeah. Odyssey and Red Dead Redemption Two, you literally don't need video games ever. Yeah, yeah. like there's so much content. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish Red Dead Redemption Two by the end of the year. Like I hope I will. I'll, I'll start it by the yeah. end of the year, but I'll try my best. But it. I don't even know if I'm going to. <laughs> I, I I can only basically try to finish one of them it's yeah. either odyssey or and then like when smash comes out that's going to be another thing that yep the yeah time consuming speaking of which Here let's talk go. super smash brothers we got the final direct this week so we know the entire roster now um and we know a lot of other cool things that are happening in games so the new characters ken from street fighter who is a 
Echo Fighter for Ryu. Um, unsurprising there. But Incineroar is a totally new character from Pokemon <coughs> Sun and Moon. Is that the legendary? Um, no, no, that's the uh, star that's Pokemon. The final yeah. evolution of Litten? Is that the name of the star? Oh, Pokemon? yeah. So, uh, right. I, for, I forced a lot of those games. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> Incineroar does seem pretty fucking cool to play. So, yeah. It's a wrestler. I can be down. Suplexes and... Conor McGregor. They should put Conor McGregor in Smash. No, yeah. let's so not. He could say like really racist things. <laughs> so, a lot of shit. if you pre-order <coughs> Super Smash Brothers, about a month after launch, you'll get another character for free, which is the fucking Piranha Plant. Literally uh, in, the, in the in the fucking in the pot, all sorts of stuff as a playable fighting character, not an assist trophy or anything like that. A playable character, it's just fucking nuts that they have that. Not Waluigi. I th- I think they know at this point, and they're like, yeah. let's just keep going. Let, let's yeah, let's exactly. keep this joke going exactly. as long as we can. Uh, there's some new amiibo: Inkling, Ridley, and Wolf, and then King K. Rule, Ice Climber, <clears> and the Piranha Plant, and then Isabel Pichu. Ken and Young Link all coming next year. So that's pretty Young cool. Dog. Some of them look really cool. Like Rid- Ridley looks cool. Uh, Ice Climbers look cool. So. Yeah. Uh, they talked about what this Spirits game mode is, which they went into a lot of detail with this. So Spirits, Spirits is, is that another... like when Luigi got killed or something? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. So what Spirits is, is it's. <clears throat> It's so hard to like really explain this. You know, like you collect these different classes of spirits, literally, and you f- give give them attributes. You feed them <coughs> snacks, all sorts of stuff. You can then attach that spirit to a fighting character in the game, and that gives you like buffs and all sorts of stuff. And it's like this whole separate thing that you can like interact with and level hmm. up and attach to eat all these characters to kind of customize them. Hmm. It seemed very overwhelming, uh, honestly, watching it. But it could be could be neat. I don't know. Um, one primary spirit can be equipped to one character at a time. The main way to acquire spirits is through spirit battles. A board of spirits will appear, and you'll choose what to fight for. There are specific spirit ba- battles. Um, Guts man makes Mega Man large and uses a variety of throws on you. Guts, Like, man. stuff like that. Um, that each battle has certain conditions, guts, like the floor being poison and more. Um, and basically, I guess this ties into there's an adventure mode in the game. So it's not like the subspace open emissary. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But it's not like the subspace open emissary, world. but it's... it's Sort of like that in a way, um, which basically uh, you take on Master Ham in that. Yeah, and it's called World of Light. So that's that's neat. They talked about the online stuff, which it kind of has the same stuff as uh, before in a way, uh, but there's no for fun or for for glory like there wasn't a Wii U version. Uh, but Global Smash <clears throat> Power is there, which is how hard you fuck. And yeah, <laughs> they talked about how you can use the Nintendo Switch Online app for voice chat in battle arenas, and I'm like, no, nah, let's not, not do that at all. You, you know, you know what they should have focused on? They should have added Smash Ball. Should have added Smash Ball to yeah, that would to, be cool to Smash. Um, there's new assist trophies in the game. Isaac, uh, Black Knight from Fire Emblem, Thwomp, which is <laughs> the Gigantic block sort of things from Super Mario. Mm-hmm. Springman, Wily's Capsule, Flies in Hand, Tiki from Fire Emblem, Vince, Guile, and Akira. Mm-hmm. Sure. Toriyama? Yeah. Um, let's see here. There's a bunch of new Wii, uh, well, Wii Fighters. Me Fighters that you can... <laughs> I guess there's certain sets mm. that you can put onto the Me Fighters... Uh, they are adding five DLC packs to the game. Uh, so there is a fighting... Each one of them is going to be five ninety nine dollars separately, or you can buy a fighter's pass, they call it, for $25 extra. Okay. Um, so you'll get a new character, a brand new character. They said that there's no Echo Fighters in this, mm, in the okay. DLC. So brand new character, a new stage, and then new music with each one. 
Did so. you get like Bill Engvall well, in Bill Engvall's house? Sure. Well, well, well here's Jeff, the thing. Jeff Fox so I mean, maybe that leak that came out a while ago, maybe <clears> some of those will be in it. Maybe you'll get, what is it, Banjo? Banjo and the Grinch. The Grinch. No, I don't know what? about the Grinch. That's a little, that's a little hot thing. I'm but... playing as the Grinch. <laughs> yeah. I'm, still, I'm still crossing my fingers for Sora. <laughs> even put Shrek in there. Yeah. Yeah. New game coming out. Maybe that's what they're waiting on. A new game coming out. Yes, this trophy. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna cross my fingers. It, it makes sense to me. They don't stop coming. Yeah, they they said they, they don't stop coming. They, they haven't coming. finalized who these characters are going to be, and they haven't even started developing them yet because they're just trying to ship the game. So they said this DLC could take over a year for it all to come out. Yeah, right. I mean, okay, that's which that's fair there's enough. so much in this game that it's like I think there's going to be a lot of people playing it. That yeah, I don't think I don't think it matters. Really it's will. it's nice that the that you know developers like, <clears> let's focus on finishing. And putting out a yeah. complete game before we even think about DLC, whereas like you know, yeah. everyone else is like, well, okay, we're we're done making. We the already game. have a plan and a schedule for when our DLC and is we've released. Already, and you know what? We're gonna put it on disc. Yeah. Hashtag Destiny One. Where's everybody's hype level for Smash Ultimate? Go you guys like, excited? Put the characters out at certain intervals so they don't stop coming. I yeah. mean, <laughs> <laughs> the best fighting game to release this year is already out. That's Soul Calibur Six. I don't know. So, but, I mean, Soul Calibur is a great game, but I mean, it's not Smash. It's no <laughs> it's Smash. Not Smash. It's no <laughs> Smash. <laughs> Platform fighters are by default inferior to any other form of fighter. I mean, that's an opinion. <laughs> what are you saying? It's just Smash science. Isn't, Smash isn't even a fighting game. It's not. Assassin's Creed is the best fighting game. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. UFC two. All right. I hated that right. game. <laughs> like, I legit hated that game. It was really bad. Uh, right, but you can play as Conor McGregor. You can't play as Conor in Smash. You know what? DLC. Yeah. They, they, they haven't decided yet. I mean, Mike Tyson. <gasps> Bring in Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. <laughs> That'd be really funny, even though he's not with that game anymore, to bring Mike Tyson, like Punch Out, then him and Little Mac can get into a thing. Great race. <laughs> you, you only have one attack. <laughs> it's, it makes lights go out and everybody's dead off. And he can only fight an elephant. Yeah, they should no, have that's a, a stage. Yeah, these come out with yeah. these come out with a stage. They should have a Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers. They should have like all Michael the Myers. Jason Voorhees is already in uh, Mortal Kombat. I mean, so Michael Myers. Michael Myers. If a quote from an interview with Yoko Taro is to be believed, he'll do anything for money. So let's get some near characters in there. I mean, they already yeah. got uh, the one coming. I mean, two B is two B is coming to Soul Calibur, but when asked, he said. We'll do anything for money. Yeah. So, <laughs> at least he's I'm honest. Keeping my fingers crossed. At least he's honest about it. Keeping yeah. my fingers crossed for some uh, near in other video games, maybe even Smash. I'm so fucking ready for this game. Put Yuka I'm... and Lily in there. Yeah. Fuck Banjo and Kazooie. Nah, no, put God. Banjo and Kazooie in there. <laughs> and Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Fuck it. And Jack and Daxter. Why not? Are they going to have more near characters? I guess that's to be determined. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just, <clears throat> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. <laughs> Frank just has no words. <laughs> Frank's like, why did I agree to this? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I'm just ready for Smash. I, I mean, I, when it'll be fun to kick all your asses. Oh fuck off! <laughs> hey, fuck hey, off. Remember, remember how Soul Calibur started when we started off that shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, keep on like what three, four in a row. Yeah, until oh, I figured out exactly how you were mashing buttons, and then I started winning. But then he won still consistently. I, yeah, I still, I still have. We all won. You guys just won a little bit more than me. What? <laughs> But, uh, is King DDD in the game? Yeah, Dude, every oh, everyone is here. Every that's, that's character has never right. been in Smash. Don't worry, you you have yeah. King DDD. Right, yeah, can... I can fall back. Also, what's him. the what's the dude from Donkey Kong King? Uh, Tom Cruise, King K. Rule, King K. Rule. He seems like a U character too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can you can set all the records for King DDD, and then every record for everything again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So funny! Like you didn't even play King DDD the whole time, and you had like the most smashes, <laughs> the most everything. It's like what the fuck? Most damage, <clears throat> everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm just ready because when the Wii U version came out, we would like hang just, out. We would make play. we'd make videos, and then we would just play Smash until fucking two in the morning. That's what we like. We would be like, it was so where it's like, oh yeah, we don't we don't have that many videos to make, and this time we'd be like, yeah, well we got one, yeah, we can play Smash after. Exactly. Yeah. And, and like I'm just ready to hang out and play Smash again because. The last time we played it on Wii U, it's like, fuck, I just want to play this all the time. And then they announced this. It's like, well, you don't really need that version anymore. Yeah. Honestly. Um, yeah. 
It's going to be good. Only a little, a little bit more than a month. December 7th. Which character you want wish most was in Smash? Like a reasonable answer. Not like uh, Steven Seagal or something. Honestly, <clears throat> I think there's a 15% chance that it could happen, but Crash Bandicoot. Mm. I think he would just be incredibly fun to play in Smash. Because he's, he's got a range of different moves that he can he has. You know, you can spin, you can bunt, butt slam people, you can bring out your... I'm trying to Wumpa Wampa Bazooka, shoot people in the fucking balls. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of... The the character, and it's an assist trophy, the character I cannot believe they didn't throw in is um, whoever the main character is from ARMS that Nintendo put out on the oh, Switch. Yeah. Like, ARMS sold well, but I cannot believe they didn't like promote that game by making... I mean, them a character. I mean, just oh. because also the games just came out and or, or it just came out on the Switch. I think like <clears throat> Arthur Morgan. No, I was, <laughs> I was gonna say like uh, like Sans or Papyrus from Undertale would be mm-hmm. super cool to to come in or like uh, ooh yeah. the fucking um God I'm forgetting his name the Guacamelee guy that could be pretty fun too. Put the Onion King from Overcooked in there. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> Just put um. Well, what's another really? Oh god. Mm-hmm. Or uh, mm-hmm. the spawn the spawnky guy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say like the what like, I can't remember the cat's name from Yo Kai Watch Jibanyan or something mm-hmm. like that. I want more Fire Emblem characters. Why? <laughs> Why? There's so many. There's so many Fire Emblem put, uh, characters in the game. Naruto in. <laughs> yeah. Goku. Uh, dry bones. Wait, what? If there was the a dry bow, wet bow, wet bow, the dragon from Super Mario Odyssey, bow that. There you go. If there, this, I is mean, man, this is yeah. man who's thinking. If a Dragon Ball character were to be in, the <laughs> one that would make sense would be Trunks with his sword, <laughs> Future Trunks. Yeah. Trump? No. <laughs> Fuck off. I want Trump in Smash. <laughs> he some man, wall. he's thinking like five steps ahead, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm all over. It. He's like five years in the future. Yeah. All right, let's talk about BlizzCon. There were some interesting <laughs> announcements. Yeah, there was. Out of BlizzCon 2018, <clears throat> which all Blizzard-related stuff. Blizzard. Could, World of Warcraft Classic is going to happen next year. Yeah, Crickets. that's cool, Ooh. I guess. Uh, I'm not a Warcraft guy, so I mean, sure. <laughs> is this just like the original game? game? I think it's yeah. just it's just like the base it's original the, game. It's yeah. the Because I know they had some issues before of like shutting down servers that the people that like had that. Mm-hmm. And now that's why. Yeah. So you can pay more for the game that you already own. Yeah. There's like a new really... Diablo game. <laughs> yeah. And it's on phones. Yeah. It's called Diablo Immortal. <laughs> and the internet is not happy. not happy about well, that. Well, gamers just this is this is just proving my thesis that uh, hardcore gamers are awful human beings. Yeah, have you guys seen the video of the guy that legitimately asked Blizzard if it was like a joke? He was like, is it like, out, like, like live on stage? Like, is, is this like a is this like a late April Fool's joke? It's like, look, I get it, dude. We all want Diablo Four, but you kind of said don't expect yeah, Diablo Four. Exactly, and they kind of have hinted that it's going to happen eventually. It's just time that they need, you know. But like, I don't know. I feel like that's a very douchebag thing to say straight I mean, to their face. I mean, it is. Yeah. Of like, is this game that you've been working hard on a complete joke? <laughs> like, um, they were they were very nice when they answered that, but I bet inside they were just like, they're not because, guys because, because, the, because, because at the end of the day, they're like, yeah, well, you paid to be here, so you can be angry. Yeah. You, yeah. you paid money to come to this, this, uh, this, this, you know. I mean, all the games that they that the guy should have asked that question at. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I'm pretty like, sure they dance. <laughs> they just dance. Someone comes up. Is this a joke? Yeah. <laughs> is this game still a thing? I'm pretty sure though this is a pre. It is a Diablo game. Yeah. For phones. Yeah. You're going. You know the kill device shit, that is, that is most abundant in the world. Mm-hmm. And why look, wouldn't you put like a game? Yeah. Like a, a series. I like think Diablo a, on it. and it's multiplayer too. I believe. So I think like a um, Diablo game on phones just kind of makes sense. Like a smaller sort of thing. Why not? You know, the one done. thing that uh, is kind of, uh, they should have learned from Bethesda here is that they used Fallout Shelter as a marketing tool for Fallout 4. They should have maybe took that strategy and maybe, I don't know, maybe push this game off until they're ready to at least have an announcement trailer for Diablo 4. 
and then use the, use right. this. Hey, here we also have this free game while you wait for this other thing that you exactly. want. Like yeah. I think they should at least just fully come out and say Diablo Four is happening. It's just not officially now. <laughs> like they've hinted at, but it's like I agree. Yeah, but I also, agree. not every game has to be for you, and you're not entitled to yeah. them making the game you want. Like. I maybe not as much as this, but I like if Bethesda only announced Elder Scrolls Blades, Blades at E3 and they said nothing about Elder Scrolls. I think there there would be Elder Scrolls fans that are a little disappointed. But at the same time, I still think Bethesda shot themselves in the foot by announcing them so early. But that's just me. Yeah. I, I think though no, it's, it's, it's more that they were like, "Hey, get off our backs. Here's the fucking roadmap. You'll get this first, and then this, and then that." But also, I mean, it's so. not like they didn't. But, I mean, they had other things. Like, the people were super hyped and they were talking about it. I mean, they had, they, they did, you know, they showed off, you know... Doom. You know... When they didn't really have A, a nice little logo of Doom and, yeah. and, and Rage 2 and, you know, Which Fallout they, 76. And it's like, you know... They followed up a lot of that stuff with uh, their own... Their, with QuakeCon. They, they yeah. showed a lot more there, especially the Doom gameplay. QuakeCon was just fantastic. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, you know, they... It's not like... It's not like... I don't. I don't think anybody would still be super disappointed from, like that. I don't know. I. I, I feel like there's a bit of a difference. Also, because. Okay, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I lost my train. The the other two big announcements from BlizzCon is that they're fully remaking Warcraft Three. It's called Warcraft Three Reforged. Which Holy is, shit! That's the RTS from years and years and years ago that people still love. The thing today. that kind of spawned the MOBA genre. Because right. Of yep. The way that game operates. So they're fully remaking that. Uh, which could be very cool. I mean, people really like that game. So new story, new graphics, all sorts of stuff. And then they announced the 29th character for Overwatch, Ash. Oh, the and then um, Jeff Kaplan said they have six more heroes. Holy shit! In the works right now. And like, did you watch the animated short? I didn't watch Overwatch the one? short, but I watched like the trailer for. Ash, I guess, uh, that showed, like, more of how she plays. Yeah. But there's a character it. at the end of the trailer that he said is going to be one of those six heroes. Wow. It's like a robot-looking thing. Yeah. Was it, was it Bob? Because, I mean... No, not Bob. Bob, Bob is, is her old. Yeah. Bob's her old. Yeah, that's okay. I, I mean, Which I, is kind I of interesting. Which is, like, a big, like, <clears throat> robot sort of thing. Knocks him into the out, air. Out. So you can shoot him and then also just starts firing. Like, okay. Yeah, I wonder if, like, how that works. Like, you have to kill him... How much health does he have? That's a and that is a very good question. But, but, yeah, there's, a ro- there's another robot at the end of the thing that uh, he says it's gonna be a character. I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to watch it actually. Whatever. I I uh, the one thing like I I mean I'm always down for more Overwatch characters because Overwatch characters are cool and they do good <clears> things with them. The only thing is it's like it's, it's this one reminds me a lot of like of like Orisa in a lot of ways where you look at Orisa and like all her kit is. We're just going to take something that somebody else does and just kind of repurpose it. And there's a lot of that with like her. You know, you get you got dynamite. I mean, yeah, you can shoot it, and then you get the, the Lucio the, boop kind of the, the, the shotgun thing that's like a Lucio boop or the propulsion rocket or whatever from yeah. Anna. And then I'm like, I'm like, okay, I don't I don't doubt that it'll be cool and that there'll be like different little things that'll make the character unique to play. But it, you know, at face value, I'm like, her main like rifle seems like it's pretty fun to use. Yeah, yeah. she seems neat. She's very, yeah, like a hodgepodge of a lot of other things. Yeah. But I'm down. I, I'll probably hop back on Overwatch once she comes out, because I, I haven't played fucking forever. I still haven't played the new map, either, Busan. Yeah, I haven't. I, haven't, I mean, basically all yeah, I did, I uh, like... all, all I did when I hopped back on for a little bit was, I mean, the two times that we played, and I just did the, the, the chunk and stein, so I get loot boxes. Yeah. That was basically all I did. Okay. So, yeah. That's BlizzCon. There's some neat things that came out of it. Maybe not what people wanted, though. Yeah. Uh, people can fuck hey. themselves. The the Lucio's cereal, it's a thing. They have a Lucio-based really? cereal. Lucy- I didn't Lucio's. Know yeah. yeah. It's, it, it, is, pretty it is an actual yeah. thing. Now, also, okay. the, also, there's an Overwatch Lego set. It's fucking Is that, you know, is that a joke? No. Is that an April Fool's joke? I mean, so <laughs> yeah. All right, I got you there now. <laughs> All right, let's talk quick. There, there's some, some interesting things about Disney's upcoming streaming service that's supposed to happen next year. There's now rumors that there's going to be a Winter Soldier in Falcon limited series with the dudes that are playing them in the MCU movies. 
Um, that could be interesting. Winter think, Soldier, I could be down for. Yeah. Falcon, I don't know if I give a fuck about. <laughs> but I, I think I think those two together, I think that's probably the best thing. The way you get if Falcon if they thing. do put them together, yeah, Cause, I mean, cause, it's I mean, a chance to, for more people to care about. Yeah, Falcon. Uh, also, I mean, their 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 interactions in uh, Civil War were pretty funny, from what I remember from that movie. So like, yeah. it's cool. They actually have like big stars for the. To do like a series, like yeah, they're, and they're yeah. doing the, the Scarlet Witch and the Loki. Well, that's not is that it's not official. That's not official, but it's I mean, rumored. Yeah. But no, it's but it's like not I mean, animated. but I mean, those are the ones that are like talked about. It. Like, yeah, they're gonna yeah. do those. It's like if it, they do those. And like, what's man. fascinating is like you have Netflix pulling all their Marvel shows, and Disney kind of potentially. I haven't none of these are official yet, but creating like some really fucking high quality. Hopefully, hey yo, I got TV shows that tie into the MCU. That's I've got some news for you. People Disney has money. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah, Disney has all the money in the world. Yeah, but then they got that Star Wars show, live action show. I'm like, this seems like I could be down for it's this. It's like I this, don't looks, know. this looks like something. <laughs> this looks like something. Well, I mean, this looked, it looked like something from the start. That I'm like, I could put my money into this. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I'm a Disney fanboy, so you know. I'll, yeah. I'm the first person to admit that, but it, and, it, and it got me thinking too of like it really if these are true, and then you have the you know a, a decent chunk potentially of Disney's very deep library of movies to put in there of like this is not I don't think the two are 100 percent comparable, but stick with me. Like DC has their own streaming service. DC needs to bring out the big guns for their streaming service if they really want it to take off. Like, don't get me wrong. Titans, Harley Quinn, Robin, all that stuff's cool, but, like, fuck, I really think they need, like, a Batman sort of show, yeah. Superman, Wonder Woman, I don't care, a big gun, you know what I mean? I mean, also, January 1st is when that merger yep. goes through, so, I mean, they're going to have yep. the tw- a lot of the 20th Century Fox stuff available. Who knows? what they do with some of that I mean at least in the on, I see again on their streaming service that's, that's an interesting question on, on like what where they draw the line because I mean at least on Netflix you know their Marvel Netflix stuff is definitely a lot more of an adult well, thing well they, they've already said that they are not going to have any adult programming on the service it's going to be family friendly oh, so basically okay. something I feel like something like Daredevil would not exist on the streaming service. Oh, That's why oh, I, I was hoping. Then, for, then, for then at least on so, then at least Logan would not be on. The yeah, service, I know. I, know I, I, I then, then on one level, I almost hope that because I, I literally just had this, or I had the idea of like a little bit earlier of like, you know, if they somehow keep their deal with Netflix going, I mean, or for like you know some things because you know I don't, I, it might have be a very minuscule part of it, but I don't think this streaming service is the whole reason that like Luke Cage and Iron Fist got canceled, but like you know. What if, because, you know, the last couple of attempts at making a movie of it haven't done that well, what if they made, like, like an Alien series or something? Like, you know, Maybe. turn that into, like, a... Even if it's just, like, a mini-series, like, sci-fi but million... You know, I don't Those I don't things would probably then go to Hulu, because Disney would practically own Hulu at that point. Yeah, Which, okay, but then, but then that would... But then it would still kind of... Yeah, would, and, but then that also sucks of, like, well, I like the Disney stuff, but now there's this, like, adult Disney properties... But now I have to get a whole other streaming service for that, yeah. like motherfucker, you know. After uh, over time, all these streaming services really fucking add up. Yeah. So that that, that would sort of suck. Give we'll me see. my X Men High School anime. Anime that already yeah. that already sort of exists. There's an animated series, but it's well, not. Oh well, yeah, that's what I mean. I know it's not anime, but I mean, also that's already perfect. Why would you Why would you mess with that? Make, make use it for the movies. Make the boobs bigger. Make them more anime. Yeah. Give them more dicks. <laughs> All the psychic powers of Jean Grey is, is animated as having like tentacles coming out of her mind because you know it's anime. Just go nuts with it. Yeah. Just go fucking God. <laughs> Just go nuts with it. Yeah. All right. Let's talk some music quick. Not a whole lot uh, of stuff, but some interesting stuff. We'll skedaddle. Slipknot put out a new song. Yeah, they did. Called All Out Life. And it's pretty fucking heavy. Yeah. It's, it's, I like it. I think Corey Taylor sounds fucking fantastic. Yeah, it's like, I think it's definitely a little bit like of, that was maybe one thing was that his voice sounded a little 
different on Slipknot's last album, and so now I think that's that's definitely definitely a setup. It's but I do also think that this is a song that could have been on their last album. Oh yeah, hundred you know? percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They kind of dropped it out of nowhere on Halloween. It's like, oh shit, it's pretty cool. It's got some good riffage. I like the middle section a lot. How you know it's got these like talky parts on the vocals, but then it comes in with this like really chunky chunky section. But still, like as cool as this song is, like God damn, I, I just wish and I know they're pop they're way more popular now. I just wish they would go back to the production of like the first two albums. Those albums are so fucking visceral. Even when you listen to them today. Yeah. They're just fat in your face and loud and I wish I had that. Mm-hmm. Like Donald mm-hmm. Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump, Uh-oh. Anal Trump is going to release their new album. Anal I'm Trump. I'm just like setting up with nice segues. You really are. Anal Trump is a San Diego based niche hard niche grindcore band featuring Rob and Travis Trump. <laughs> Basically, it's cattle decapitation members. Uh, oh, okay. This. It'll be called the first 100 songs, and it's releasing November 6th. <laughs> Oh, well, that's day. like oh wow, that's that's all, that's in a couple of days. That's like Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's go a out Tuesday. And vote. Go out and vote. Tuesday. Dude, it's Tuesday. Wow. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. It's Tuesday. Voting day. I would. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I like it when things don't release on Tuesdays. I like it Friday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Fr- Tuesday. Friday. Tuesdays. Friday. Friday. Tuesday. <laughs> The Thursday. first the first 100 songs was produced, recorded, and mixed and mastered by Rob Trump, with the album boasting 100 songs in 11 minutes. <laughs> the pair previously re- released seven EPs via Bandcamp, including That Makes Me Smart and Make America Say Merry Christmas Again, donating 100% of the proceeds from the EPs to the ACLU Planned Parenthood in Rain? Yes. There we like go. the sky? No, I guess it's so. a, you wouldn't like the TV so, show. So donating money you know, to the sky. It's a charity that helps with uh, sexual assault survivors. Uh, it'll that have makes my joke a lot less funny. It'll have all the songs from those EPs plus thirty new songs. Tracks include uh, "I Like Soldiers Who Don't Get Captured" to creative <laughs> interpretations such as "My Cabinet Is Nuanced As Shit" and onward to Putnam esque bond mots like "Renewable Resources Are Gay." There's a smorgasbord of Trump-liciousness. Oh my god. I love this. I wish I, I, wish I liked Grindcore. I've listened to that. One of the... Th- in, in Rob said this. One of the things about this stuff is that since most of it is taken right from the mouth of... or mouth or ideology of a Trumpster should be fine with it as much as a Bernie person would enjoy laughing at it. It's just a mirror, and that in itself is terrifying. Oof. Oof. So there you go. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's pretty, pretty in your face Oof. with that stuff. So December 31st at the Reverb in Reading, PA, will be the New Year's Evil featuring Twisted in a mirror. New so you want to s- if you, <laughs> so if you want to spend your um, New a, Year's with your mirror, you can. That's a fucking scary movie, New Year's Evil. Oh really? Yeah. Speaking of scary movies, well, none of them were scary, but they were great. I saw The Shining. Okay, there you go. Which is fucking incredible. Yep. Uh, very slow. But yes. I liked it yes. a lot. Yes. And there's some great movies. <clears throat> and then I also saw The Silence of the Lambs. Have you guys seen that movie? Yes, I have. It's, a it's also, also another movie fantastic too. movie. Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins is so fucking good in that movie. Jodie Foss is really good too. And then, um, God, he was in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The guy, the dickhead soldier Chris guy. Pratt. No. No, the. <laughs> he, he, he plays like the actual ser- uh, Buffalo Bill. Going after. Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, okay. Wow, alright. <laughs> it, it puts the lotion in the bucket. Would you fuck me? It I'd puts the me. lotion on the skin. Oh, yeah. Or else it gets the lotion again. Fuck me? I'd fuck me. Yeah. I'd fuck me hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, cinema, man. Yeah. 
Anyways, so those they were fucking fantastic movies. Whitechapel's going to release their seventh album, The Valley, March 29th. They put out a new song, Brimstone. Have you listened to that? No. It's it's heavy, but there's not a lot to it. Yeah. Uh, but this album is all about Phil Bozeman's, uh, I guess, upbringing of like his mother that has schizophrenia, uh, schizophrenia and then killed herself and all uh. sorts of crazy shit. So it's a concept album about that. It's the Valley, based on true events by Whitechapel. That's what it's called. So that could be interesting. Yeah. And yeah, August Burns Red, Fit for a King, Miss May I, and Crystal Lake are touring together. So if are they doing another Christmas show? I mean, they, they always are. do a Christmas show. They are, and they're putting an album. Band... They put out a Christmas album. I thought I heard that. Or was it just another? I think Christmas they're putting show? out new songs. Okay. For Chris... Christmas album, okay. Um, but opening at Christmas. their Christmas show is a band called Hawk, which I guess is This of the Apocalypse, renamed. Oh, if you guys remember This of the Apocalypse, I mean, maybe, I do, maybe, maybe they'll play. Lemonade. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Maybe they'll play Lemonade. <laughs> that's it. Took me a second to think of what song you were talking about. I was like, gotcha. Yeah. That's it. Cool, yo. Good, some, mm, some good shit. Yeah. I like Fun that. stuff. Good shit, Bruce. Good shit, Mighty. All right. All right. Let's go do stuff. Yeah.